reminiscing roles from three years ago when Margarita, the Tijuana Tornado, KO'd the killer, handing Cintron his only professional defeat. But since that career low moment, Cintron has rebounded, not only to win a title, but also to deliver some smashing performances. Oh, a left right combination of Matisse's down and it's over! Meanwhile, Margarito has failed to enjoy consistent mainstream success, though still earning plenty of critical acclaim. This is brilliant stuff. What a show. Each man hopes a win in tonight's sequel will launch him closer to boxing's A League. Or 2005, I should say. The fight took place in the outdoor arena behind Caesar's Palace after a relatively uneventful first couple of rounds. Margarito got to Centron in the third round, opened up an unusual cut on the eyelid above Cintron's right eye, and from this point, Larry, the younger fighter folded. Cintron, who had never been in a tough battle before, just came apart, melted down, in a fight that he is haunted by now. Ultimately, Cintron went down twice in the fourth round, twice again in the fifth, after the fourth knockdown, he cast a look toward his corner, which indicated to his trainer man. Taught me how to be a man in life. Hermit's uncle is Benjamin Serrano, a tough middleweight contender who made a respectable name for himself in the ring in the early 1980s. Our relationship was real, real close. Yeah, I'm upset. It's not going to bring them back, so. I know how you feel whenever you're inside the ring. You know, the punches, whenever they get to you and all that. And I told him, I said, look, you know, this is a, a hard sport and you have to. 29 wins, 27 knockouts, and the welterweight title later. Cintron has become something in the ring. A journey with roots embedded in family tragedy, resulting in triumph. At Cintron's life, he has already faced at least two extremely difficult adjustments, both back at home in Puerto Rico and later as a team. They are both five years ago when first they met. It was Cintron who walked on, and surely the biggest change in his career since that tour. Cintron wearing a T-shirt which signifies his... Caesars Atlantic City, the rums of Puerto Rico. Victories, only 146 and one half pounds. With a professional record consisting of... Reading, Pennsylvania, and representing Carolina. Flatly stated, it's never going... I will crank it up early. I come from behind on the scorecards and late is arguably at the peak of his career. Good upper and seems relaxed. And just wanting the box. Right hand. Good jab again by Margarito. And the body shot. And Margarito starting to crank up the work rate. Indeed. And a physical, offensive fight so far. Two guys who didn't land all 2005, and both are landing with regularity in round one here. Hard right hand by Cintron. And another. So far, both Cintron's will and Margarito's chin are holding up. And that makes for great combat in round one. Right hand by Margarito, snaps Cintron's head back. Good left hook inside. But he's the fight that you referred to a year and a half ago against Emmanuel Clotty. 675 punches, which is the all-time CompuBox record for most punches thrown in any fight, in any weight class, counted by... Now round two begins, and... Between rounds, Emmanuel Stewart was relatively calm with Cintron, but now Cintron is taking some artillery from Margarito early in round two. As he... Trying not to give Cintron any room to breathe. Uppercut snaps Cintron's head back. Left hook lands. A flurry of punches from Margarito, body and head, and he's seizing the offensive initiative. Inside, Margarito, sh shorter punches, more effective. Hard right hand by Cintron, not enough to stop the tornado. Margarito continues to come forward. Cintron trying to find the one big opportunity to turn it around. 
Misses with the uppercut. Margarito lands his uppercut. Lands his left hook to the body. Another good body shot inside by Margarito with the left hand. Now Cintron fires twice to the body. Can't stop Margarito from throwing. Cintron looks relaxed, as though he could stand the pressure this time. Let's see how that goes. This is a fierce pace. And one thing that's happening is that Margarito is closing the distance on Cintron, not allowing Cintron the arm room to extend his punches and land as big as... Margarito showing how he is more effective and more experienced. Stop backing up and go forwards. Cintron knows, of course, that by stepping forward, he's going to be guided with the power of Kermit Cintron. Margarito simply doesn't believe it exists. Cintron, he wasn't enthusiastic because from what he had seen up to that point, he did not think the fighter had talent. But when he spent time with Cintron, he discovered that, that I could teach him. Isn't the game. By steadying his feet and going forward, Cintron is making better purchase with his punching opportunities here in round three. Now Margarito's significant damage already. One, one fighter, Cintron. Cintron is beginning to get the distance he wants, though, to when it's coming back at you. He's throwing a lot of punches. He fights without that much coming back at him. Margarito will find the right foot position to land something big on Margarito. Brown warning Margarito not to hit Cintron behind the head. Cintron was stunned by that right hand. And now complains again to the referee, and Margarito takes advantage to go right at it. It's becoming a big round for Antonio Margarito, as once again, just as was the case in Las Vegas three years ago, Cintron is distracted by some factors in the ring. Just relax yourself. Use your jab. Okay. Now here's where Cintron loses his composure. Bends down, as we have seen many fighters right, do before, and the punches aimed at him will land on... There's a real nice combination late in the round to win the first is this. Kermit Cintron stands straight up. Very, very little head movement. I mean, the guy is absolutely like a totem pole. And Margarito sees that. When he goes to the body, he drops Cintron's guard. He murders him in the body. 2-1, Margarito. Good right hand by Cintron. After a good left to set it and up. another one. This man in Antonio Margarito's corner is Francisco Espinosa. Pejorative to indicate that a fighter is rudimentary. In Margarito's case, he knows how to box. <laughs> Left hand upstairs for Margarito. Since then, comes back with an uppercut. Margarito's more effective. Gene in the ring. Can you stand in there with him? Can you take his shots? Can you keep him from walking? And Margarito feeds off of that. He lets his hands go and lets, him hand, lets his hands go again. Hard right hand by Cintron. Margarito walks through it and keeps throwing. Out of 81 per round. A great job in Antonio Margarito's fight interpreting in Miguel Cotto's corner. Trying to find the right place to be, if there is a right place to be, with Margarito in the ring. Cintron. Cintron blocking those left hooks with his right glove. Keeps on coming. Now there's blood trickling from the right eye of Kermit Cintron. And Cintron of same take. eye that was cut in the first fight with Margarito, and it looks as though the cut oh, is in about the same place. Oh, and Cintron now very difficult spot. Whatever I think, that's what the referee has ruled. Physicians will tell you that few things are more dangerous in the ring than getting hit on the brainstem. And maybe the idea, Larry, is that you shouldn't throw when the opponent is in that position. Well, that, now watch the left hand that opened up the eye of Cintron. And there again, as in the first fight, 
He starts to bend down instead of clinching to buy time or going in tonight. But when you've knocked out 27 of, of your 29 victims, you convince your body to do age 19. Margarito has been fighting since he was a little kid. Cintron's background as a wrestler isn't necessarily enough to prepare you for what goes on in this, in this room. Four, five, six, He's reacting seven, as eight, though he's really hurt, nine, Jim. Ten, body four. shot. Yep. Another body shot. Boom. That often finishes the brilliant left-hand body shot right above the liver. Cintron focusing on trying to avoid damage upstairs and getting hammered in one of the places where you are least able to recover. Interesting preview of what may be yet to come this evening because Miguel Co New yeah. Welterweight Champion of Well more 